Anthony Davis is among the big names who could be on the move at the trade deadline. Photo by Chris Graven, Getty Images, illustration by Brett Knight, Forbes The Knicks' Chris Epps Porzingis trade was the first major splash ahead of the NBA's trade deadline, but as title contenders and draft anticipators prepare for the stretch run, more shocking developments will likely follow. Here's what each team needs to do before the February 7th trade deadline, as relayed by Forbes.com contributors, Boston Celtics with observers suddenly starting to doubt that Kyrie Irving will return to the Celtics, they may be inclined to make moves now to secure a deep playoff run and entice Irving to stay. But with likely no affordable game changers on the market, the Celtics may have to just ride out the season with the roster they already have. Read more from Hunter Felt. Toronto Raptors The Raptors may make it to the Eastern Conference Finals but they'll be hamstrung if they don't trade for a big man to improve their rebounding and a shooting guard who can score from beyond the arc. Read more from Curtis Rush. Philadelphia 76ers Forget about the trade deadline, the 76ers will sink or swim with the buyout market. As Markel Fultz's ability becomes more of a question, Philadelphia may not have the assets to make a marquee trade. That said, trading Fultz to Atlanta for Dwayne Dedman may still be in the cards, read more from Gordy Jones. Brooklyn Nets The resurgent Nets have become the apple of New York's eye, but staying relevant will require an upgraded power forward and improved depth, read more from Larry Fleischer. New York Knicks The Knicks have plenty of cap space after the Porzingis trade, as many disgruntled fans know. Now, New York will likely try to trade its remaining veterans for draft picks, read more from Tommy Beer. Giannis Antetokounmpo of the Milwaukee Bucks on January 31st. Photo by Von Ridley, Getty Images, Getty Milwaukee Bucks sitting pretty as the favorites in the East, the Bucks have dealt away so many draft picks that they do not have much to bring to the bargaining table, and that may be a good thing, read more from Andrew Wagner. Indiana Pacers with Victor Oladipo injured, it may be time for the Pacers to bail on this season, moves to compensate for his absence are doubtful to put them in contention anyway. Young talent are draft picks in exchange for players on expiring contracts could make Indiana a true threat next season, read more from Howard Megdal. Detroit Pistons Despite a subpar record, the Pistons can still make a run for the playoffs with moves for backcourt depth and three-point shooters. But if Detroit passes on this year, offloading Reggie Jackson for a draft pick would be the go-to move, read more from Jared Johnson. Chicago Bulls If the Bulls can't trade away Robin Lopez's and Jabari Parker's bloated contracts, count on Chicago to lose them in the buyout market. Otherwise, a Bobby Portis Mark Helfoltz trade may not be such a bad idea, read more from Jason Pat. Cleveland Cavaliers drop to the bottom of the NBA standings, the Cavaliers should be major sellers at the deadline. Other than Colin Sexton, Kevin Love and Larry Nance, virtually everyone is for sale for either draft picks or young prospects, read more from Evan Damarell. John Wall of the Washington Wizards on December 16. Photo by Patrick Smith, Getty Images, Getty Charlotte Hornets The Hornets, future rests on getting Kemba Walker to re-sign after this season, and that depends on whether they can dish Nicholas Batum's hefty salary to another team. With his salary off the books, Charlotte would have a much easier time finding a companion for Walker, read more from Howard Megdal. Miami Heat at the bottom of the East's playoff standings but spending a ton on salary this season, the Heat find themselves in a unique position, they can buy, sell or remain stagnant at the deadline. But considering it's a long way to the top of the East, don't expect the Heat to make a deal unless it gives them the chance to shed their big contracts, read more from Jeff Feld. Washington Wizards The Wizards are unlikely to be actively shopping for trades, but they should be if they want to contend for a playoff spot. If they don't trade for a big man, it likely means that the Wizards are keeping their core for the long term. Read more from Jeff Seidel. Orlando Magic trading for draft picks is the name of the game for the Magic, who can offload Nikola Vucevic and Terrence Ross to free up $26 million in cap space. 
with Orlando solidly a tier above the lowly Knicks and Cavaliers, committing to youth wouldn't be the worst thing, read more from Rob Wokenbroad. Atlanta Hawks' Trey Young and John Collins have been electric lately, making it clear that the Hawks should fly toward youth. Unloading Jeremy Lin, Dwayne Dedman or Kent Bazemore would end the feel-good run Atlanta has enjoyed, but it might be necessary for the long term, read more from Jeff Siegel. Russell Westbrook of the Oklahoma City Thunder on February 3rd. Photo by Adam Glansman, Getty Images, Getty Denver Nuggets surely more than thrilled with their core, the Nuggets are likely to watch the deadline pass without making any deals. Even Denver's underwhelming players may get more time to develop before the front office considers hearing offers for them, read more from Joel Rush. Oklahoma City Thunder expect the Thunder to make noise as deadline buyers in search of a perimeter shooter. The only thing holding them back is their $145 million payroll, read more from Russell Dorsey. Portland Trailblazers getting under the luxury tax threshold should be the Blazers' top priority, especially if they hope to eventually sign someone to supplement Damian Lillard. Evan Turner, Myers Leonard and Maurice Harkless could all be sold off to get the team's salary down, read more from Mike Tokito. Utah Jazz Although the Jazz are in playoff contention after a slow start, they need to buy at the deadline to become a true threat. While their defense is stellar, Utah needs a sharpshooter. A Ricky Rubio-Mike Conley trade may be in the making, read more from Jared Johnson. Minnesota Timberwolves The injury-plagued Timberwolves should sell at the trade deadline. But uncertainty in the front office and fatigue from a season already filled with drama might keep the team idle, read more from John Meyer. Los Angeles Lakers forward LeBron James on January 31st. Photo by Brian Rothmuller, Icon Sports Wire via Getty Images, Getty Golden State Warriors as the league frantically plays catch up, the Warriors can stand still at the deadline. Count on Golden State to peruse the buyout market for a veteran to fill its open roster spot. For the Warriors, the real drama doesn't begin until the offseason, read more from Patrick Murray. Los Angeles Clippers with the Warriors' dominance set to last through 2020, the Clippers would be wise to wait for the summer's free agent market rather than impatiently make moves before the deadline. With $50 million in cap space and Kyrie Irving, Kawhi Leonard and Jimmy Butler among the players awaiting an offer, the Clippers can be major players this summer, read more from Jack McGruder. Sacramento Kings with their recent success, the Kings can't be too eager to trade away their core. But for a team itching for success, a deal for backcourt depth would go a long way toward making the playoffs, read more from Jeff Feld. Los Angeles Lakers with Anthony Davis available, the Lakers are on the verge of having a serious title contender. But with the Pelicans seemingly uninterested in a trade, at least right now, Los Angeles may have to wait until the summer to build a truly dangerous team, read more from Gabe Zaldivar. Phoenix Suns The Suns can use the trade deadline to gauge how valuable TJ Warren and Josh Jackson are, but with $26 million in cap space for the offseason and a shot at Zion Williamson, the Suns would be smart to pass on making a trade, read more from Jack McGruder. James Harden of the Houston Rockets on January 27. Photo by Tim Warner, Getty Images, Getty San Antonio Spurs Firmly a playoff caliber team, the Spurs don't particularly need to make a trade at the deadline. But the notion of facing players like Kevin Durant, LeBron James, James Harden or Paul George in the postseason should be incentive enough to find a lockdown defender, read more from Rob Wokenbroad. Houston Rockets for the Rockets to capitalize on James Harden's historic season, they need to make a trade as soon as possible. Improvements to the defense would immediately make Houston a threat to the Warriors. And the sooner the Rockets make a trade, the better the team chemistry they'll have come playoff time, read more from Rahat Huck. Dallas Mavericks The Mavericks made a splash with their trade for Porzingis, but they may just be getting started. With that deal adding $30 million to their cap sheet, Harrison Barnes, the team's highest paid player, may be shopped around to clear out $25 million, read more from Doyle Raider. 
New Orleans Pelicans fans may be panicking, but the front office can take its time with trading Davis. Serious suitors including the Celtics won't be able to make an offer until the offseason. Then again, the Lakers and the Sixers appear to be adamant about making a trade before the deadline, read more from Jack McGruder. Memphis Grizzlies The Grizzlies seem ready to commit to a rebuild around Jaron Jackson, which means shipping off Mike Conley and Mark Gasol. Look for the Grizzlies to pick up top-tier draft picks for the two veterans, read more from Shlomo Sprung. It's a game of inches, and dollars. Get the latest sports news and analysis evaluations, signings and hirings, once a week in your inbox, from the Forbes Sports Money Playbook newsletter, sign up here.